Part of the reason why I came to Oxford is because from you know very early on it was defined that you can progress and there are options to go into management, to go into more clinical practice, those options are there. If you want to put the work in and achieve that, they're certainly there and that's part of the reason why I wanted to come. Everybody is very supportive, everybody wants you to do the best and everybody you know, encourages you, everybody gets that confidence in you, which is you know, personally for me, having other people have confidence in me really helps my development. What a lot of people have likened ICU to is spinning plates and it's our job to spin those plates of some of the most, you know, the poorest people in the hospital. And sometimes even if you don't advance forward and they don't get better as you'd hoped, it's trying to keep them static and consistent and there's a lot of pride in that at the end of the day. The skills and the range of skills that you get to learn, that you get to practice day in day out, I think that's unrivaled. Being able to come into a you know, what is an internationally renowned major trauma centre and getting those different types of patients, I, you'd be hard pushed to find the mix that we get, certainly in adult intensive care. Seeing what we can do now and seeing how things are advancing and seeing what, what we put the human body through, it's incredible. And to then take a step back and look at that and say, that's all free. Where else in the world could you get that? I remember the first time I was in handover, I was shaking listening to the types of patients that I was about to look after. But don't let other people put you off. You know, if you've got an interest in it, go for it. I did. And I don't regret it.